What is up, YouTube? Rambro42, coming back at you. It's been a while, been away. It does my heart good to be back with you, sharing a video. So I hope you all been good. Um, today, not a lot of uh, drama, not a lot of fireworks. Going to be doing a five-card HGA reveal. Some pretty cool cards, a um, couple very unique cards. Uh, before I get into it, I would like to do the giveaway from the last video. So uh, let's get started with that, and then we'll dive back into the uh, five-card HGA reveal. Okay, let's do the giveaway for the Kyle Lewis Select Pink to 10. Good luck to everybody. Really appreciate everyone that liked, commented, and subscribed. We had 37, 37 of you do that, and that's uh, the most we've had. So really appreciate the support. Good luck to everybody. The winner is El Bortega, Jay Bortega. So Jay Bortega, hit me up on Instagram or send me an email. And I'll get you out the Kyle Lewis Select to 10. Congrats. Thanks again for the support. Okay, let's get into the HGA five card submission that I got back. I still have like a couple more out there, so you might see me um, do uh, some reveals of those over the next week or two. Um, this one's got a couple unique cards, got some old school cards, got a really unique one, and then a couple of uh, cards of guys I like. So anyways, let's um, check out the first one. First one is, a, um, and I have looked at these. It's a Tua certified silver. I'm a big Tua guy. I cl collect, a, um, I've got most of the rainbow of the Tua Prism Draft. Here's the subgrades. Back of cards, kind of cool. I like the little layout. Second one, this is a really sweet. Chase Young, green to five, also the certified. There's the subgrades. Okay, now we're getting into old school. The original goat, first up. Thing you'll notice about this, um, got an eight, eight and a half on centering. I thought this one was centered perfectly. You'll see the subgrades. I was a half a point away from this being a nine. So that would have been really nice. Um, I don't know. My mindset is anything nine and up is good. Anything below a nine, I balk at. So uh, the eight and, eight and a half hurts a little bit. But it was a pretty sweet card. Um, I did think that this was going to grade as well as the next one. Um, thought I might get a nine on that. The Joey undefeated in the Super Bowl. One thing that Tommy can't say. Okay, next one, Kobe. Boom, I was very, very pleased with Kobe. I did not anticipate this getting a 9.5. You can see the subs. The other thing, I don't know if y'all can tell, the um, card had a stain in the top right corner. It's hard to pick up, but I thought I saw it. And I thought with the AI and the way HGA grades, I might get killed on that. But um, other than that, the card was in perfect, you know, not perfect, but really, really good shape. But I was very pleased with the nine and a half. Um, this card should have pretty good value. HGA doesn't really impact or increase value as much as I'd like, given the fact of how hard they grade. Okay, the next card. Next card is kind of the odd card. Don't know if you all saw it, but um, and you're probably thinking to yourselves, what is up with Rambro grading a freaking Evan Fournier card? Maybe uh, you think that I had clairvoyance and I knew he was going to light it up in the Olympics for France. Not the case. Um, thing that's really unique about this card is it's, it's a Luca card. Luca on the back, Evan on the front, right? So, um, would love it if y'all could give me feedback. If there, if you think this is kind of cool, if there's value with, uh, the error, usually people like try to post little tiny subtle errors, this is a pretty glaring error. You got Luca on the back and Evan Fournier in the front. And what's even crazier is uh I saw Luke, I saw the card on eBay sell. It was probably a couple months ago, but it was Luca on the front with Evan on the back. 
and I'm kicking myself now that I didn't get it. It would have been a friggin' hilarious lot or do like a magic thing with the two cards to, um, to sell. So love to have you guys give me feedback or comment on what you think this card's worth. Um, and here's what's really unique. I opened up like six or seven cellos um, of the Hoops Premium um, one night and I had the cards, I was all done and I saw the Luca and I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't pull a Luca. And I looked and it was Forney on the back and then I realized the second card in the extra pack in the Hoops Premium cellos, every second card had a different guy in the front and different guy in the back. I got a Jason Tatum. I think I had, I got one of the beard. Um, we got like five or six on that. This is the only one I sent for grading. I've been wondering if it makes sense to grade the others, but it was pretty unique. So love to get your guys' feedback on that. That's all I'm going to do. Um, that's all I got for you tonight. Um, give me some thoughts on that. Please like, comment, subscribe on the channel. Um, no giveaway tonight. You guys know I typically do that in all my videos, but um, we'll be back at you real soon, and we'll do it then. All right, take care, everybody. God bless.